Hi Aries, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma, and this is going to be for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay, for March 2021. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I'm an Aries Venus, so sometimes I tend to resonate with your readings as well. We're going to be taking a look at a situation in your life. I will be reading it as a love reading. Um, this may resonate though for you as a friendship, as a family member, okay? So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't apply to you. Again, this is a general reading for a large collective. I'm using four different decks today and we're gonna go ahead and get started with my blessing and see what spirit has for you guys. If at any time this reading does resonate with you and you are interested in a more personalized, detailed reading, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. I also do post live readings on Instagram during the week. If that's something that you're interested in, the information to my Instagram page is in the description box below as well. So with that said, let's get started. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Aries in regards to their current life situation and life path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher perspective and knowledge on what soul lessons and soul cycles they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, heal from, learn from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let's see what we have here. Holy Spirit, what is the overall spiritual message of guidance for Aries? I feel that somebody feels very hurried right now, very rushed, okay? Okay. Um, very anxious about something and spirit is telling you to just relax it's okay they have it under control they're working with you okay so overall spiritual message of guidance you have John 16 33 in this world you will suffer but be courageous for I have overcome the world on the back, Romans 8, 3, 7, in everything we have won more than a victory because of Christ who loves us. This is a reminder to you, and I'll read the second one here, that there's much more to this life than just what is happening to you worldly. And to stay strong in your faith and belief that there are other things going on on the back end, on the other side, spiritual forces that are really trying to guide you and help you become in alignment, okay? You also have Roman 12, 12. It says, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, okay? And faithful in prayer. On the back, to pray is to mount on eagle's wings above the clouds and get into the clear heaven where God dwells. So when John 16, says, in this world you will suffer, but be courageous for I have overcome the world. This is talking about ascension here on earth. It's about evolving your perception, leaving the ego-based human mind and coming into your soul, your heart, um, and seeing things differently. And that's also why you have Romans 12, 12, Aries. Be joyful in hope and patient in affliction. If you're going through something that is um, causing you anxiety and pain, Spirit is saying, please be patient with this process. They're trying to help you uncover some things within yourself. This is a period of learning for you, of releasing and healing. So instead of being fearful of the, the pain or the affliction, instead try to go inside of it and see where does this come from? Why is this here? And what can I learn from this situation to better myself? Holy Spirit, what is the romantic energy surrounding and coming in for Aries, March 2021? 
On the bottom of the deck, you have unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And I do want to point out that for some of you, right underneath is new love. So there's a situation, again, this can be friendship or family, not just love, but there's a situation in your life that has run its course. The time is over, it's ended, and you, there's a need for you to accept this um, and to not only accept this, but to let it go, to let it go and to understand its purpose in your life. What did you learn from it? What can you take from it that you can carry with you? Okay. Um, first card out is finances and career separation very soon and engagement. So like I said, there was that new love. You're leaving something behind. Um, I do feel, though, that for a lot of you right now, you are very focused on your money. You're very focused on stabilizing yourself. You're very focused on your career, your passion. What do you want to do for your life, okay? So financial issues are playing a role in this connection or in your love life overall. I feel that right now, even if you're with somebody, a lot of you are very heavily focused on your finances. You have separation and very soon. So time apart from your partner is on the horizon and clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. You may have already entered a period of um, pause from your person. You may have already split with this person. For others of you, that's coming. Um, and not in a bad way. I don't feel anything negative about this at all. I feel that it's something that's needed to happen. Um, you're going to learn a lot of things about yourself. And I also feel like this is a great time for you, Aries, to really look at which direction your life is going and is it heading in the, in the direction you want it to go? Are you on a, a path? Are you aligned to your path? Or are there some things that you may need to close out and close up to leave it where it belongs so that you can continue on this ascension because you are on an ascension path because you have engagement. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So know that if something does end for you, Aries, it's because you're moving in to a new cycle where a connection is coming in that's going to be exactly what you've asked for and prayed for. Some of you may actually be getting engaged um, or proposed to, I should say, okay? So let's get the details um, from Spirit regarding your uh, current situation here. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for March 2021? All right overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the knight of inspiration okay so the knight of wands you're very excited and passionate about something aries there's been a fire that's that's gone off inside of you a spark okay um i feel like whereas before you had this idea of wanting something uh, different and exciting. I feel that now instead of that just being an idea, you're actually moving towards it. You're actually seeing some change take place in your life. Like we talked about earlier, making sure you're in alignment where we talked about, um, you know, closing cycles out so that you can feel free like this. You're excited about life again. There's a passion, a spark that, that has um, taken place. And now that that's taken place, you don't want to go back to how things were, okay? First card out is seven of materials. So I feel you're also, this is a current energy surrounding you, okay? So I feel with this seven of materials, you're in an energy here of watching what you have planted over the years, you're watching it begin to bloom. This is a time of reflection. And this is also a time of patience. Something is growing. Something that you've invested a lot of time in is now starting to bloom. But it's not yet ready 
to be harvested and that's the energy that you're in so it may feel like you're in a void it may feel like things aren't moving as quickly as you'd like they're they're about to that's what this night of inspiration is about they are about to um, you're very again focused on your money you're creating something for yourself you've got things in motion and now you're just waiting for these seeds to actually fully bloom okay your current energy is the four of inspiration the four of wands you're in alignment you're right where you're supposed to be aries you are right where you are supposed to be you are in alignment okay i feel that you have a very very strong foundation right now within your home life or your family you've been working on things if you have children i'm seeing look at this four of wands on the bottom you guys saw me just messing around shuffling them so spirit is saying to you you are where you need to be um there's a lot of creativity around you aries a lot of happiness um i'm seeing a lot of get togethers and celebrations um i feel like you've really been on this path of self-discovery and you've come into it You've come into yourself and it's very, very beautiful. Um, the other person's energy is the moon. There's a lot of emotions here. Okay, so you may be experiencing a pause between you and, and, and your person and you're feeling very happy and very optimistic about this, this person or this situation, okay? Um, but there is still something there. I'm seeing there's still something that might be um, yet to be revealed to you or that is still hidden or this person may be very elusive to you right now, keeping to themselves. They're in a period of deep reflection. They're understanding their emotions. They're learning what this all means. So let's see. Number 18 might mean something to you. 18, 13. Okay, nine and four. Tell me about the moon, please, for the other person's energy, Holy Spirit. Why is the moon here? Two cards. Okay, wow. Okay, this, again, you may be receiving a message from somebody regarding their emotions, deep emotions. You could be dealing with a water sign. We have Pisces and Scorpio here. You may also be dealing with an uh, air sign. I do have the King of Swords here twice. Um, this person wants to take a leap of faith with you. They may not have told you this yet, Aries, okay? Or they, they have, but they want to take a leap of faith. They want to level up with you. They do feel that they can be very successful with you. They do see you as a prize, so to speak, okay? They, very, they do value you, but they're taking a huge leap of faith here. And I feel that this is about communicating their emotions to you. They're going to come to you with a lot of truth and honesty. And I feel like for some of you, it's going to be very, very surprising. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, they're definitely coming in, Aries. Ace of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay. So this person has an offer of stability. Like I said, this could be engagement. This could be moving things to a new level of commitment, to a new level of um, understanding and bonding with one another interesting because the challenge between you and this person is also um the king of swords it is the muse of voices so understand that right now this person is struggling with expressing themselves okay uh, but they will they will but you you, you i feel like clear-cut communication or truth may have been something that was very difficult for the two of you in the past Tell me about this Muse of Voices as a challenge for Aries. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is you. Wow, look at that with the Ace of Pentacles and the Empress again and the Hierophant. This is somebody struggling to talk about the truth of, of their self. Somebody was struggling to speak their truth and their feelings, okay? Um, struggling to stay grounded. 
this person may have been very kind of cold and not nurturing. They may have made it seem as though they didn't want to be in this connection to begin with. Okay. It's very hard for them to communicate with you at this time because they are working through some, some pain. And that may or may not have had anything to do with you, Aries, but know that this person, this person could also be dealing with some family issues, some mother issues. They're dealing with their mother. They're communicating with an older female here, not a third party. I want to make that clear. Spirit is not showing me that at all. They are communicating or working on something with their own feminine issues, whether it's a masculine or not. They're healing some wounds that are bringing them closer to themselves. Okay, Aries, but give them that time that you could be seeing um, them come towards you around the full moon, which is uh, next week, February 27th, 28th, okay? So the next steps of action towards you is a two of inspiration, two of wands. They can see a future. It's far ahead. <laughs> But they're wanting to move in a new direction with you. And so they're going to come forward and you're going to be faced with a decision. Okay. Which way are you going? Do you want to move forward with them? Is this what you want? What path do you choose? Holy Spirit, tell me about this two of inspiration coming in for Aries. Tell me about this two of inspiration. Page of Cups. This is a surprise. This is a surprise coming in um, after this pause, after this heartbreak, after something that needed to be repaired. And they're coming in and they're saying, hey, I, I have something to give you. I have an offer. Um, but it is coming in as a page. So I feel like you might be a little bit leery. Like, are you sure? Um, you know, this person may be younger than you, or you may feel as though they're emotionally younger than you. Okay. But this is coming in. It's going to catch you off guard, le least when you least expect it. Um, and the outcome is Scorpio energy with death. Massive growth and transformation here. Really breaking out of a cocoon here. Okay. Really ascending to your higher self and spreading your wings. Um, the moth is drawn to the light. So you're breaking free here from something. I feel like you're letting go of old cycles. This does not mean that you're going to say no and you're going to end it. For some of you, you may. But for others of you, I feel that it's taking, oh wow, yeah, this is coming in from a possible water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This just flew out. Okay, this is, you know, an emotional transformation here from somebody, a deep emotional transformation here with the two of wands again. Spirit is telling you the decision is yours. The ball is now in your court, Aries. Which direction do you choose? This is after a period of healing and self-reflection here with Virgo energy, finding your light, connecting to your inner light. This person has gone through a transformation and they're here to bring in justice and they're here to offer you a new beginning in love, stability, possibly moving in with one another, okay? Really, really, really wanting this connection with you. And the ball is in your court. What do you choose? Something has been sparked inside of you with this night of inspiration, Aries. But you do have an offer coming in that will bring balance to your life. For some of you, it will be closure. For some of you, it will be closure. But it is something that you need to hear. It is. For others of you, you're ascending. It's commitment. It's what you've asked this person for. This person has seen the light during this separation. Something has become awakened within them towards you in this connection. Okay, Aries, thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to hearing from all of you and seeing you guys again soon. Bye.